Hey guys, it's Bella here from Digital Nomad. Today I want to show you a really straightforward, fast way to replace eye color in Photoshop. If you get the hang of it, you really can do it in just 10 seconds. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. It'll make these videos so worth it. Thank you. So let's get into it. As you can see, my model has gorgeous brown eyes, but I want to change the color. Now you can't just paint over them like I'm doing here because as you can see, you lose a lot of the detail in the iris. Regardless of the blending mode, the result just isn't great. First, we need to select the part of the eye that we want to change the color of. So to do this, head over to the Quick Selection tool. Now go to the bottom left of the screen and zoom into the eye. Now start selecting the iris. You'll notice that Photoshop automatically snaps the selection around what it thinks you're trying to select. You'll also see some of the top eyelid is caught in the selection. Hold Alt and you'll see a little minus sign on your selection brush. This means whatever you paint on now will be removed from the selection. So remove the eyelid from the selection. You'll notice Photoshop overcompensates. So go back over the iris and reselect the areas you want. As you do this, with every correction you make, Photoshop is learning so it'll improve your selection with each swipe. Once you're happy with your selection, go to Select, Modify, and Contract. I'm going to contract my selection by 3 pixels. This will reduce your selection by 3 pixels all the way around and make sure the color you add next doesn't bleed out into the surrounding area. Then go to the bottom right of the screen and click Create Adjustment Layer, and then select Hue and Saturation. Select the Colorize checkbox. Drag the hue slider to whatever color that you want. You can see that you can choose just about any color. I want to choose a color that's rare but realistic, so I'm going to go for gray. The easiest way for me to do that is to decrease the saturation. I can increase it all the way up and it'll give me a sort of toxic green look. And if I turn it all the way down, I'll get gray. Next, I'm going to adjust the lightness setting slightly to help blend the new color with the brightness of the scene. And that's it! You can see the new color is applied perfectly. All the details are still visible in the eye. Please be sure to smash the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you in my next video.